Hey John, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Okay. Oh my. What's up, Lollipop? My name is Joe, and in today's video, I want to thank Mr. John Prosser for everything that he has done for the Apple community in the past year or years. Let's just get this straight. His track record might not be 100%, but it's still up there around 80%. And that's no joke, he has got some serious things right. And I wanna thank him for that. John, I wanna thank you, because you might not know, I'm Hungarian and I have the largest Hungarian Apple-related channel. And majority of the leaks and rumors are provided by you, are communicated by you, and I basically give it to the Hungarian population and they try to digest that. And there's been a couple of things I've been thinking about from the event or actually before the event during now. And I wanted to, you know, talk about this, the state of the Apple Watch Series 7 and the iPad. Let's start off with the iPad mini, which you got spot on. And other leakers also predicted that this is going to happen. Yeah, you guys got the date wrong. I think Apple's just messing around with leakers. They want to stop the leaking culture. And I think they were like, all right, it doesn't matter. We might be coming in October. Let's just put it right now so we can screw them over. Or maybe there's going to be an iPad Pro and I don't know, MacBook event or just MacBook event. And they scrapped the iPad from that. But you got the mini right. Even though it came sooner than we predicted, you got it right. As for the Apple Watch, I understand everything that you said in your video that they might have scrapped it in the last moment. And I think exactly the same. The video production quality seems a little bit off right there when they switch from the iPad to the Apple Watch. And everything that you said in the video that how they might have changed everything in the last moment and the Apple Watch is a Frankenstein, yeah, it seems legit. The thing is, we'll never know. Maybe Apple decided to do this just, just to screw with you guys, just to, you know, stir up something and, and get you guys saying something that is not true and make your track record be even worse. I can absolutely see that happening because Apple's that kind of company. Now, I again want to thank you because as MKBHD said, it is entertainment that you are providing for us week after week. But also, I have to disagree with that a little bit. You're providing us things that we don't know that we want, but the moment you tell us, we actually want it. And it's exactly the mentality of what Apple does. It's the mentality of Steve Jobs. The customer doesn't know what they want until you show it to them. You're exactly like this. The customer doesn't know what they want until you tell them about it. And that's why I love watching the channel. That's why I love um, taking those leaks, rumors, stories and providing it to my audience on my Hungarian channel to over 150,000 people and just bombarding it through the internet because it's interesting, it's fun and it takes our hopes up, it, it gives us uh, a little extra heartbeat during those dry summer months when there is nothing happening and you make Apple interesting in freaking June and July and August. When it's just like, you know, news drought as you put it. And kudos to you, I love what you're doing, never give up, keep it up and uh, thank you very much to you and to Ian because I would love if I would have a guy who does renders like that, even just half the quality, I would be like, yeah, I want that guy. So you guys, great team. Ian, don't get off Twitter. Fuck the haters. Cheers to you guys. Thank you for providing the content. And to whoever's watching this, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you share this video so John can see it. Thank you. Until the next video, stay safe and hang loose.